Well, after an upset loss in round one, you guys have responded with nine wins in a row. Do you take that start going into the uh, second half of the season? Yeah, absolutely, I think. Um, we sort of reassessed before the bye, or just, yeah, after the Bannockburn game and said, look, you, you take your lessons from, from round one, but you'll take an eight and one scoreline um, at any, any, any season. So, um, yeah, really, really pleased with where we're at. Obviously, you probably think there's a little bit of improvement left in the group. Um, but yeah, absolutely take the nine and one start. Yep. Now, it was a decent margin with one quarter to go. And then I think both both supporters on this swing were very nervous. We, was it a relief in the end? Or is this a lesson for both of you guys as senior leaders to really look back at the footage and go, right guys, this is what we got to fix against Belmont? Uh, I'm sure we will look back at the footage or Ned will definitely look back at the footage and uh, fix up a few things, hopefully. Uh, it was relief at the end uh, where we were well on top um, for the majority of the second half. I mean, we had a really good second quarter, um, kicked seven goals to none and then um, only kicked two more goals after that. Played majority of the game in their half of the ground, which made it hard and put a lot of pressure on our back. So yeah, when the siren went, it was, was relief for me anyway. Yeah. I didn't prep you guys for this one. I always come up with questions halfway through the interview and Ned loves it when I do that. Of the teams you've played so far, are Werribee the team to beat? Uh, for me, yeah, probably. I think they probably played the best footy for four quarters. Obviously, their second quarter, um, they'd like to change that a bit, but um, I think they, they moved the ball the best. Um, I think Inverlee is going to be hard to beat. Um, I think they're going to get it together. I know they've had their sort of struggles in the first half of the year, but I think they'll be dangerous. If they can sneak in the finals, they'll be a dangerous side. Yeah, I probably agree with John. I mean, we had a really good contest out at Inverlee, um, and they really impressed me, and, and, and they look to be improving. Um, they've got some really, really good senior footballers out there, big bodies that will stand up in finals, and, and, if, they, and if they can sneak in, that, that'll be a real, real show. Um, today's game was obviously a real battle. Uh, so Werribee is certainly um, a really, really strong side. And outside of some individual efforts in that last quarter for us, probably they could have, they could have won that game fairly easily. So um, it was good to escape with the win, but certainly there's some improvement to be had from that game. Yeah. So that's 10 of the clubs you've played. There's one to go, though, the Belmont Lions. What do you think when you hear that name? Uh, well, it's certainly one that you've uh, I've had circled... Um, on the calendar, um, their start of the year was unbelievable. Only dropping the one game last week to Werribee, so it was kind of um, us, us, them, and, and Werribee. So um, yeah, it's definitely um, circled um, on the calendar. And I mean, I know they put it on Balfour Steel today. They can put on a big score, so uh, it'll be another challenge. Yep. Uh, John's on his way to a fourth club, best and fairest. So Ned, to really put the spotlight on him, who do you think his matchup could be, or? Will there be any positional changes if need be, or you let let him do his thing as usual? He's doing a pretty good job at the moment, leading from the front. So it's his first year as uh, captain of the footy club, um, and could be happy with how he's going and leading the boys around. So um, yeah, he's certainly leading from the front. Had a really good first half of the year, and, and, and will continue to continue to do so for us, which has been amazing. And your coach's game was? Could he have been the missing piece to the puzzle in season 2023? Uh, oh, potentially, um, yeah, he's uh, doing his job very well, um, just plays his sort of role every week and a bit of a stopper, so um, I'm glad he has to do it and not me, it frees me up to um, just chase the ball around pretty much. So. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs>